Hi, I'm Jane Whitney Cooper from the Open Expression Community in Stoke-on-Trent. And I'm Kieran Bowen, the coordinator of the Open Table Network. As a way to help you understand who Gathering Voices is, we're here to tell you about how our groups came to be involved in this partnership of Christian organisations that encourage churches to be fully inclusive and affirming of all people, regardless of gender and sexuality. Now, Open Expression is part of Open Table Network. So, Kieran, um, can you tell us a little about that? And you've got a lovely backdrop to your to our conversation today. Yes, thank you. Uh, well, the Open Table Network is a partnership of Christian worship communities which offer a warm welcome to people who are lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, queer or questioning, intersex, asexual, that's LGBTQIA for short, and we'll use that shortened version uh, later on. And also for all who seek an inclusive church, not just members of the LGBTQIA plus community. The Open Table Network aims to create a safe, sacred space for you to explore your faith and what it means for you. The first community began in Liverpool in 2008, and since 2015, we've planted more communities in inclusive churches across England and Wales. There are now 17 communities hosted by four different church traditions, that's Anglican, Baptist, Methodist and United Reformed Church, with more to come. And each community is ecumenical, that means it's open to everyone from any Christian tradition. And that's where open expression comes in, Jane. Over to you. Thank you. Open expression is a safe place for all who seek to find and accept in Christian fellowship. It was started in 2016 by Des Elliott, who was researching the role of church in society, particularly focusing on those who felt excluded from the mainstream church traditions. Through many conversations with LGBTQIA plus folk who felt they were not welcomed and couldn't be themselves in their own church, Des began to envisage a worship space where they could feel they could be themselves and go back to their own churches feeling stronger and spiritually equipped. And that's where uh, um, I came in. Uh, Des had conversations with Mark Hardcastle, who's the minister at Stoke Baptist Church, and also me. And as a result, Open Expression was born. Open Expression is part of the Open Table Network, but also part of a network called Urban Expression, which is a Christian mission agency committed to following God on the margins and in the gaps, expecting to discover God at work among powerless people and in places of weakness. What a beautiful description of mission. And Des really warmed <laughs> to that and also to the vision and mission of the Open Table Network. Hence the name Open Expression. It's a combination of Open Table and Urban Expression. So Jane, tell us a bit more about uh, Open Expression. We will. Um, at Open Expression, we meet for worship on the first Sunday of the month at Stoke Baptist Centre at 6.30 p.m with doors opening at six o'clock for coffee and usually a good range of cakes. And between about 10 and 20 of us meet for worship, prayer and communion together. We have lively discussions in response to a presentation on a theme and often very moving prayer times where there's an opportunity to light a candle for someone who's on your heart or a situation. I've been attending Open Expression for the past two to three years and have also been part of their presence at Stoke Pride, bringing a Christian presence and welcome to all the supporters of our local Pride. I really appreciate the worship at Open Expression. It's a, it's a time to be myself and a time to worship together with my wife um, and for, for us to feel welcomed in a Christian fellowship. Um, so Jane, you mentioned your wife. I noticed you have the same surname as the chair of uh, <laughs> the Gathering Voices uh, community. Yeah. Chris is my wife. <laughs> and uh, and Chris has also recorded a video, hasn't she? Because she was the chair of the Evangelical Fellowship of Lesbian and Gay Christians, which is one of the partners That's that led right. to the formation of Gathering Voices. So if you haven't seen that video, check out our Gathering Voices YouTube channel. Good um, plug. <laughs> and uh, so... How did 
uh, Open Expression and Open Table Network come to be involved. We've heard a little bit about Open Expression. But Des Elliott attended the first conference called Gathering Voices in Manchester in 2017. It was a collaborative day conference of Christian organisations working to explore ways to improve the experience of all LGBTQIA plus Christians. Des supported the idea of working together for a shared vision, mission and values and became involved in the Gathering Voices steering group. She also approached me to get involved because in 2017, I also organized a day conference around the same time of year as the Gathering Voices event. We agreed at that time that we were better working together rather than competing for a similar audience. And so I got involved with Gathering Voices in 2018. Gathering Voices held its 2018 conference entitled From Welcome to Affirmation at Staffordshire University's Stoke campus. And we worked in collaboration with Open Expression. This allowed us not only to work with the local LGBTQI plus community, but also to raise the profile of Open Expression. This is a pattern that we have sought to follow with our annual conferences since then. Thank you, Jane. So if you want to find out more about Gathering Voices, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or visit the Gathering Voices website. That's www.gatheringvoices.info, www.gatheringvoices.info. Thank you. And we hope to see you at a Gathering Voices event very soon.